What's going on guys, it's Fox and in today's video tutorial we've got something a little bit different here. If anybody knows me on a personal level, I would love the Neo Geo stuff, anything Neo Geo. I'm a Neo Geo fanboy. Um, I grew up playing it um, in a supermarket, I was playing Metal Slug, I'm a big Metal Slug fan. Um, if I can't really talk right now, my mouth's kind of messed up, kind of hurts a lot on my side, so just bear with me here. We're going to be getting the uh, Neo Geo 8-bit duo controller set up so it works on the switch and will work on many other devices supposedly this also works on the neo geo fight stick pro i've got that and that one's hacked um i love the neo geo fight stick pro got the full set the neo geo games and some other stuff in this tutorial we're going to need a couple of things here we're going to need the uh eight bit duo two right there it's not going to really focus but i'll bring it up on big screen i'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see what i'm talking about kind of like right there my web camera is horrible i know I'll, if i remember i'll put a link in the description uh where to get it and this is the controller what we're going to work with here is the um 8-bit duo right here let me make this big screen for you guys it's really cool it's like 45 dollars for it it's right there it's like a limited edition one i love neo geo so the controller was 45 dollars and the adapter was twenty dollars but i'm into the neo geo so i love the neo geo in the description you can get the pack to update the firmware it needs to be updated you need both these devices to work on the switch and to work on the um, neo geo fight stick pro without that um 8-bit duo uh usb wireless adapter number two it has to be number two like i showed you um it will not work I'll show you the pack that you need to download. I have the link provided and you just download it and extract it and I'll walk you through what to do from there. So in the meantime, go ahead, download my pack and extract it and you'll have these files here. Okay, so I'll be back in a moment. Oh, also make sure that your controller is fully charged so there's no problems with the update process because we have to flash the controller. So make sure that's fully charged and then we should be all set ready to go i haven't never done this before so hopefully we won't run into any problems so okay so we're going to run the application open this up then you want to open this up we'll run it as administrator just in case any problems then we have to go into here then we have to go to hold on one second i got my okay what we need to do is click this then you want to click uh about firmware then you want to press get the beta build press ok ok we're going to press check for update press ok now what we want to do is we want to connect the uh, 8-bit duo usb wireless adapter 2 to the pc so go ahead and plug that in i'll be right back i'm going to go ahead and do this live so you can see what i'm seeing on my end i got that plugged in Okay, now it says new firmware version over here. Sorry about that, ran into an issue. Okay, so it's plugged in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and press update. This is the beta version, so this will work with the Neo, with the, um, with the Neo Geo wireless controller. Sorry, I was gonna say something else. So go ahead and press update. Okay, it looks like it's working. Don't remove anything, just let it do its thing. I'll be back when this is done. Looks well, like it's gonna go quickly. I'm not gonna bother putting that on pause. I'm using this application. It's giving me a hard time using my keyboard shortcut keys. Okay, it says update complete. Okay. Now we can go to the firmware update. We just updated the firmware. We can see if there's anything new in here. Okay, as you can see in the green box, this is the latest version. So we can, I'm gonna go ahead and update it one more time just to make sure that this is the latest version. But it looks like it's the latest version. It sh you should be able to read and write as many times as you want from the, from the information I read. That's the latest build. I just wanna make sure that it flashed with that firmware. So, okay, update is complete. Okay, so now we can close out of this application. 
We'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna update the Neo Geo controller itself. So go ahead and grab the cable and plug it into your computer and I'll meet you back on the computer when that's done. Okay, so we're gonna do this in real time together. Okay, so grab your wire that came with your controller, this is a data cable. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. So plug the controller into the PC. Okay, let, that do, let it do its thing real quick. Okay, it loaded at the bottom right hand side. Okay, now we're gonna run that application again. So go ahead and run it as an admin. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna update the firmware on here, okay? So press update. Okay, then we need to follow these instructions. I have never done this before, so it might fail or whatever. So give me a second here. Just follow along what it says. Unplug the USB cable first. Hold the start button for three seconds to turn off the controller. Then hold L plus R plus start button on the controller till the LED starts to blink. Then, then we have to reconnect to the PC. I guess that's the flash over the firmware. So give me a second. Also a quick note, when we get ready to flash the controller, the light indicator at the very top where the USB-C data cable is, that's going to be the light that's flashing. So just to give you guys a heads up, so we're going to proceed with the process. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to unplug the controller first, then we're going to hold the start button for three seconds to turn off the controller. One, two, three. Okay, so I let go of the start button. Now it says hold the left bumper, the right bumper, press the start button to the controller until the top of the LED blinks right there. Okay, now we're gonna connect it in quickly. Okay, and, and as you can see, it's flashing the firmware. So we got that all set, ready to go. Okay, update is complete. Just let it do its thing. If it needs to connect a couple of times, leave it in here for about a minute or two. Update complete, so we're good on that. And we'll check the update log. So this is the newest version right there, the beta build. And there's no need to update it again and go through that nonsense because we're on version 1.09 and this is on 1.09. If you have any problems, just play the video back. And technically this should work with the Switch now and it should work with other devices like the Neo Geo Fight Stick Pro. So I'm gonna uh, put this on pause for a second, look at my notes real quick. Okay guys, I'm gonna try this on the Switch so I'll meet you back on the Switch, give me a second. Okay, now that we're on the Switch, we're gonna have to enable a setting before we can go ahead and use this controller. Anytime you use a wireless controller, you need to enable a setting. And as you can see real quick, um, I'm big into Neo Geo. These are all the Neo Geo games that I have. This is um, pretty much the full set of the Neo Geo games. So after I bragged about that, LOL. All right, let's go into the system settings. Totally forgot guys, go ahead and plug in your Duo 2 here. Totally forgot about that, LOL. Make sure on the back of the controller you switch it from to 4G to Bluetooth. Okay, from here we're gonna go into a certain setting right now. We're gonna go into controllers and sensors here. Now let me move myself out of the way. Okay, we need to make sure that this is turned on. Whoops. We're gonna probably have to pair the controller, then we're gonna have to go back here. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna have to pair the controller. What you need to do is you need to hold down that little black button on your um, on your 8-bit uh, Duo 2, whatever the heck that's called, LOL. You wanna hold that down. Then after that's held down at the top of your controller right there, there's a little button. You wanna hold that down. Hold it very close to the switch. So I don't know how the frequency is or not, but hold down the blue button first. Then after that's blinking, then hold down the um, pair button on your controller. And that should pair it. Then we can go back into this setting 
and we should be able to not be grayed out and turn this on so I'll be back in a second hopefully this works okay I'm having a little bit of problems so far so unplug the uh, USB adapter plug it back in then hold down the uh, little button on the uh, on the duo 2 then hold down the um, button on the controller and we'll give it a try again okay if you're having problems press start that should turn on the controller then hold down the pair button on the controller make sure that the dongle is flashing so I'll be right back okay guys it finally worked so now I'm using the controller what you needed to do it took me a couple of tries the top port wasn't working so I put in the bottom port I held down the pair button onto the dongle that was flashing blue then the lights down here on the controller um, they were chasing back and forth left and right so what I was doing is when the lights were chasing back and forth left to right I was holding down the pair button until they stopped chasing back and forth now once the light is solid hold on once the light is solid that means it's paired um, so I'll make it bigger for you guys to see okay so when the light is solid that means it's connected via the uh, dongle if it's going back and forth back and forth that means it's trying to pair if it's doing that just hold down the pair button um, right there on the controller and it'll be all set ready to go anyway guys like and subscribe to the Fox Den let's jump into a game real quick and see how it works another thing make sure the pro controller wired communication you want to make sure that's turned on so go ahead and press A on there the controller is, is, is a little reverse that's just how it comes up so you're gonna have to get used to like you know pressing I think I think B is I, I'm getting confused on here okay on the pro controller A is select and on the um, Neo Geo controller I think B is the select so yeah, it's, it's backwards, lol, but whatever, you'll get used to it. So A is back on the Neo Geo controller and B is to select. So I guess it's kind of like an Xbox controller, like a layout or whatever. So let's go ahead and run this. The sound's off. And we'll see how she runs. And just to give you a heads up the um, like the one two three four five six seven eight dots next to the start button. That's the home button. For some reason, the start and select button is not working to access the game. I don't know what's happening, so I'm just gonna try it on the other controller. Try to lock. Try to get it in that way. Well, so far, the controller is not working with uh, the Neo Geo games, which really sucks because that's why I bought it for the Switch. But I couldn't log in. I had to use the other controller to like, start up the game. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to press the home button. It seems like it's not working with the, um, with the game. I tried it in Red Dead, and it loads in Red Dead the whole controller works and everything but not in here very strange I'm gonna try to load a different game and see if it works but I highly doubt it's gonna work I'll be back see the problem is with the start and select doesn't work even if the uh, pro controller is disconnected it still doesn't work the home button works I try different button combinations to like get it to work and it's not working very strange okay I got it to work um what you need to do is I guess it needed to be refreshed or something very stupid I guess it's just how it is the beta firmware on the back of the controller switch it from Bluetooth to 2.4 leave it on that screen on the game screen 
then turn it back on. And it should boot you into the game. See it's showing the settings and everything like that. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to insert the coin. Okay, so left is to insert the coin bumper and we just gotta figure out how to press start here. Okay, so it's uh, D for start. As you can see, it does work. It just takes some time to get used to. So let's jump into a fighting game. I mean, this is a fighting game, but let's jump into a fighting game. So we're going to press the dots at the bottom of the controller. Press the D button to close the application. Okay, we're going to try the shooting game, this rail shooter here. Pain the ass to get it to um, sync up, but you know, got it to work. So basically, if you're having a problem with it, that's the way to fix the problem: is to switch it from the two point. I'm sorry, switch it from Bluetooth um, to 2.4 gigahertz. Just need to be refreshed. I don't think I'm restarting the switch would have fixed the problem. Maybe I'm plugging the um, the Bluetooth connector. I'm plugging it back in. Might have fixed it, but I even tried turning off the controller several times and turning it back on, and it didn't work. This is a cool game if you ever played this before. Just give me a second here. I'm still trying to figure out the um, controllers. Okay. And as you can see, it is working. Looks like uh, A is my special. Those nice clicky thumbsticks, let me tell you. If you're into Neo Geo, you gotta you gotta definitely try to stick out. Let me make myself smaller here. Play a little bit. If you wanna log off the video now, we're pretty much done guys. So basically, if you run into any problems, switch the frequency from Bluetooth back to 2.4 gigahertz. If you need to unplug the dongle, Take the dongle out, plug it back in. Right now, I'm using the bottom port of the um, of the dock to get this to work. All right, guys, I'm not going to bore you to death because the audio is turned off. I just have it off from my other video guides. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe to the Fox Den. This video ran longer than I wanted to run, almost 20 minutes now. I'm tired, I need to eat and go to bed, but I wanted to get this video done and get it put out, so I definitely want to try this. I haven't had any time this week to do anything. And to turn off the controller, just hold down the start button, that turns off the controller. Um, so anyway guys, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.